So I'm extremely excited about my album. It's my first album, the Girl Disrupted album. And um, man, I just can't wait for everybody to hear this, hear, hear the music, hear the records. Um, this album was life changing for me. And when I say that, I mean that, you know, I've always written, a, you know, about my life, what I go through and things like that, but never have I had a, a writing experience that I really, really, really felt like changed me and morphed me into a different person. In the past, like, especially dealing with love and relationships, I've been like super naive, like really naive, really, you know, I've been a little bit green. You know, I talked about earlier about being in atmospheres where, you know, I've been around, you know, game, the, you know, game and, and been, been able to see how sometimes, you know, relationship, how, how men can be in relationships. Cause I've, like I said, I've been with a lot of men, work with a lot of men, but in the past, I didn't really, I still had on, had on my rose colored glasses and writing this album for me, it just knocked the glasses off of my face. It made me look at life and love and relationships in a very realistic way and stop pointing the blame and um, pointing the blame at, let's say like ex-boyfriends and pointing the blame at certain at guys and made me go, okay, so why did this person feel like they could treat you like that? Why did, um, you know, if you felt like that way, why didn't you say anything? You know, if you weren't sure if this person was ready to go this way, then why didn't you just ask? So like with this album, with Girl Disrupted, that's why I said it, it forced me to put a mirror to myself um, with songs like Before I Do It, forced me to say, okay, let me just say to this person before I allow myself to like, fall for you are you sure we on the same page or you gonna be here to catch me you know with songs like my love for you it's like you know i wrote about the type of love that i you know i know that i deserve um so it's just the 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 album just ended up it changed me and that's really what i wanted to do uh for my fans i want them to hear it and maybe put that same mirror up to themselves and you know to i wanted to make them better the album made me better it made me better a better woman it it took away some of the childish girl-like things that I needed to get rid of. It disrupted the girl within me, for sure. My creative process, for one, whether I'm writing for another artist or I'm writing for myself, um, especially if I'm writing for myself, I write, um, the way that I dress and the way and what I write kind of go hand in hand. So if I, I feel like I kind of like set my mood before I get to the studio. So if I want to write something that's like a little more hood, a little more, you know, round away, whatever, you know, I'm going to dress accordingly. I'm going to wear, you know, some J's, some, you know, some baggy sweatpants, a little sports bra, a little short crop top or whatever. And that's how I write. I will say this. I'm a brown liquor kind of girl. I got to have some liquor in the studio. That's just me all day, every day. Anything can happen when I write off of the brown liquor. Um, I love me some, uh, I mean, I got to have some Hennessy. Hennessy in the studio. Um, sometimes I switch to Jameson. If I got some Jameson in there, I turn into a white girl uh, randomly. I don't know how that happens. Um, but I just got to have brown liquor in the studio. Good brown liquor. I got to turn my lights down. I need, um, the vibe has to be right. I don't be mixing my brown with nothing. It's like on the rocks. You got to take it straight with no chaser. I'm just saying. Don't come in my sessions trying to chase no drinks. I like to have people in the studio sometimes. I'm, I kind of feel like a dude when that happens though. Like, cause a lot of times dudes like to have like girls in the room just for the atmosphere. I don't know if you've ever been in sessions with a lot of like rappers or whatever, but maybe that's cause I've been riding with so many men for so many years that I just like to have bodies in the room sometimes. So, you know, I invite some of the homies to the studio and just get in there and just create. Um, I, I just like to get lost a little bit and I'm like a super duper overthinker sometimes so I'm not gonna lie I've definitely written a couple songs a little tipsy but the records turn out great and that's all that matters at the end of the day um you know that's all all I care about is uh is, is how how they turn out but um yeah give me some brown liquor and um just just press record and I'm good to go I guess and it was speaking to women the first lines you know and so by the time we got to the hook the first melody that I came up with. I just, I'm like that. I just am very spontaneous on the spot. And I just, on my way, show my way, on my way around. On my way, show my way, show my way around. And he just, his eyes lit up and he's like, yo, yo. He was able to narrate everything that I sung through dance. And I always respected that. So when I heard Fade, 
that's what Faye gave me. It gave me that I need to narrate these words. I need to bring to life what he's saying with dance. So I hit up, I hit up Guapo. He's a perfect person for that. And me, I'm like, yo, I'm not progressing. And I'm not in this business to look lit to you and really be burnt out. And so I made a decision just to quit my job. And I got on a plane, went to LA, sold everything in my house, <laughs> said, fuck it. You gotta be good at what you do because that's what's gonna back it up at the end of the day. That's all that matters. Just stay hard, grind. You gotta grind like, a, like the boys do. They stay in the studio for days. I do 12-hour blocks in the studio now. Like, you gotta have that hustle.